Welcome to Pure Aqua's Learning Center. In this series of videos, we will demonstrate the loading of filtration media inside different size FRP tanks. This particular video will cover the loading of calcite media inside of a 12-inch FRP tank. Calcite is a naturally occurring calcium carbonate media. When correctly applied, it will correct pH to a non-corrosive naturally occurring equilibrium. Some of the items shown here are the tools and media recommended for a successful media uh, loading. So starting from this side here, we have an empty bucket where you know, the media in the back can be transferred to this bucket and then dumped into the tanks. We have our funnel, scissors, masking tape, plastic pipe caps, and of course different types of media. You know, in this case, we're showing carbon and calcite, and of course the gravel underbedding. Since this particular video will go over the loading of calcite media inside of a 12-inch tank, Pure Aqua typically recommends the use of gra fine gravel inside at the bottom of these tanks. Uh, we use just enough gravel to cover this riser screen at the bottom, so in this particular case, we're gonna use about one sixth of a cubic foot. And in terms of the quantities of the calcite, uh, we'll use about four bags or two cubic feet. So this particular demonstration involves a 12 inch media tank. Um, now, there are many different sizes of tanks with many different types of media, of course, so it's up to you know, design calculations and criteria to determine exactly the quantity of media needed and gravel underbidding quantity as well. Of course, here at Pure Rock, we've done our specific and precise calculations for our specific media sizes and tanks to make sure our design and flow rates are adequate for each tank size. Most importantly is of course the safety of the personnel involved in loading these media filters. Now we would leave that up to local, local code that predetermine what kind of safety equipment or protection is needed for the personnel such as gloves or masks. They'll prevent of course inhaling any kind of fumes and so on when loading these uh, media filters. Before beginning the media loading, it's important to double check and ensure that your riser pipe is cut to the right length and the diameter matches that on the, the valve used. With that, we will begin the media installation. So step one of the media installation would be to ensure that your riser pipe is centered up in the inside of the tank. And of course, the center of the pipe is covered with some kind of easy to remove plastic cap. It doesn't hurt to take some kind of flashlight and just double check that the, the actual riser pipe is centered up because once the media is loaded, of course, it'll be very difficult to realign the riser pipe. So of course, before pouring any gravel or media into the tank, you'd wanna place the funnel on the top of the tank so you ensure all the media easily goes into the tank. Step two would be loading the gra fine gravel into the media tank. Um, before doing that, of course, you would recommend transferring a small amount of gravel into the bucket that we showed earlier in the video, as these tanks are slightly smaller, of course. On larger tanks, uh, the gravel can be poured directly into the tank, but again, since we're using less than a bag, we'd wanna transfer a little bit into a bucket and then transfer that into the tank. So then of course, as you're pouring the gravel into the tank, you're gonna to wanna to maybe move it around so it goes in a little bit easier as it tends to get stuck because the tank opening is a little bit small with a larger uh, riser pipe. After loading your first amount of fine gravel into this tank, you'd wanna double check and take, the, take a flashlight and make sure that the gravel level is slightly above the screen on the bottom. If it's not, of course, you're gonna load more gravel. You know, as mentioned before, we have our predetermined uh, gravel amounts already calculated, but if your gravel amounts are not calculated, you know, these steps are necessary. So once you've determined that enough gravel has been loaded, and of course that's been double checked visually, uh, it's now safe to proceed to our third step, which would be the loading of the filtration media. Now, as you're pouring your calcite media into your calcite filter, of course, you'd want to make sure that the rate at which the calcite is coming out of the bag is how fast it's going into the tank, of course, to avoid any overspill and to ensure all your calcite media is utilized within the tank. Now, once the proper amount of calcite media has been loaded into your calcite filter, of course, you would go ahead and remove your funnel and remove your protective cap and physically measure how much freeboard you have and document that for service and maintenance purposes. Once the funnel and cap have been removed, you can go ahead and clean your tank thread with any excess uh, calcite media finds. Our other Pure Aqua tutorial videos show how to properly install and, and program uh, various control valves depending on the tank size and valve model. Many operators ask our Pure Aqua engineers how often do we need to reload or, or change our calcite media out for calcite filters. Calcite filters are a little bit unique because you're not technically replacing your media, you're re replenishing it depending on how corrosive your water is. 
Now one parameter of course is measuring your pH before and after your calcite filter. And if of your operating conditions slightly change, you can determine that it's time to add more calcite media or physically opening up the tank and removing the valve and inspecting how much calcite media is left inside that tank. And with that, of course, the operators can make proper judgment of when to replenish your calcite media. Pure Aqua sales team can be contacted at any time for the purchase of new calcite media or replacement calcite media. And of course, we sell all various filter sizes. With that, that concludes our Pure Aqua tutorial video, and we thank you for watching.